Good morning, guys. Today is, I think, what's the day? It's March 10th. I'm gonna be vlogging my work day again. Our GitLab server is in dire need of an upgrade. It's scheduled actually for after work hour. I'm gonna be starting at five. So I thought I'd document that. I mean, that, there's not much I can document because I can't show you my screen. We'll figure something out. Maybe I'll talk about it, but it's early. Gotta get some coffee first. <laughs> Just to give you context of what's going on today for work, all my focus today will be getting my tests up and running for upgrading our GitLab server. We're at version 12.10 something. We are trying to get all the way to the latest, which is 14.8.2. The original plan for this GitLab update was to upgrade it from that 12.10 whatever, 13.8.8 then another version got released or like a critical i think security vulnerability or something that is at 14.8.2 i believe we were like okay we have this downtime already planned why don't we just upgrade to 14.8.2 and i was like yeah fine if i can get the test working by the way also the runners we didn't talk about the runners they also have to be upgraded but those are actually easy it's like four commands that you have to run because it's a binary. So those I'm not as worried as, as much. But yeah, that's the context you're getting. Let me go grab my coffee and start the day. If you've seen any of my other vlogs or day in the life kind of work, the first thing I do is check all my email tickets, our reporting tools, stuff like that. Even on a day where I'm gonna be doing an upgrade that that's gonna be primarily my focus for m like majority of the day. But if something urgent came up or if there's a ticket where I have to give an answer, then I'll still need to keep an eye out for those. So yeah, so that's what it's gonna be. That's what I'm gonna be doing first. So it's 1.30 now. I did manage to figure out the issue, thank God. It turned out that there was a custom Ruby file. I don't know what it does, but I think it had a little while back, we we had migrated our server from LDAP to Active Directory. And I think there was some conversion of like emails and stuff like that that needed to happen. And for that, there was like a custom I think Ruby script that did that. The error that I found was actually looking through the error log for Puma. And in there, there was an error message about it not being able to run because of this weird file. So I tracked down the file, looked at it, I thought it was a Ruby file, just Googled the error message pretty much. And then somebody had mentioned that like, oh, it's probably trying to like find this, this calling this function thing. Now, obviously I'm not gonna sit here and try to learn Ruby right now. So kind of looked at it, it's clear. All it does is just like look through a bunch of user IDs, usernames, emails and stuff like that um, and migrate it over, which um, we don't need anymore. So I just renamed the file completely and did a GitLab bigger and it worked fine, which I mean, I was so relieved, but also like it sucks when you like have done like three, four tests and it takes a while and all it is is just like renaming some file or whatever. Either way, um, so it works, uh, testing is good. So I'm good to go for tonight. Now I'm just sending an email to uh, the department. It just says, hey, just a reminder that we're updating this. Uh, and then I'm gonna let them know that we're changing the upgrade version to the latest version. Uh, I don't think there's actual operation changes, so it shouldn't matter to them. But yeah, I'm gonna do that. And uh, I gotta walk that out. Uh, and I'm gonna take a breather and just chill for a little bit. Um, it's been a hectic morning. <laughs> I'm back. It's 2.13 right now, so the rest of the day is gonna be figuring out, making sure I can install that cert fine, getting ready uh, for the upgrade, obviously. It's at five, so I have like a little less than three hours. Um, and getting ready means I have the documents and I have all the commands that I need to run, but I'm just gonna uh, write it all down um, so that all I have to do when it comes to the upgrade is just copy paste it into the terminal, uh, into the command line. That way I don't, like I'm not focused on if I ran the right command at this point or not. And it's all just listed out. I just have to copy and paste it. Outside of that, I'm going to check on a few tickets. I'm hoping to finish. Like if, if everything goes really smooth and I start at five, if I have a backup, if all the commands 
run successfully if the migration takes an hour and 15 minutes i'm hoping to finish by seven just like if everything goes smooth uh I most likely won't so like ideally 7 30 and hopefully like nine the latest is what i'm hoping for so we'll see and if it takes that long then i'm probably gonna take tomorrow off because i could work a little longer yesterday without a further ado let's get back into it It's already five actually, um, kind of forgot to prep for recording a video. I'm currently logging into all the servers just to make sure I have the console ready so that I can just go through all the steps. I've already mentioned this earlier, but since the last time I was recording until now, all I've been doing was just taking every step-by-step -step command that I'm gonna run and putting on a list. So I've been doing that, I have it ready. It's a little over, it's like 5.05 right now. So the scheduled upgrade starts now and I'll keep you updated. Okay, now, so I'm pausing all the runners. Uh, I'm gonna check to make sure they're not running any tops before I move on with their um, updates. One eternity later. So, it's the next day. <laughs> um, <laughs> All right, a, a few things. First off, the GitLab upgrade, the runner upgrades all complete. Guess what time I finished though? It was 11, 11 or 11.30 p.m. Yeah, it was, it's okay. Here, here's the gist, here's, first off, here's what happened with the camera, right? My card filled up, my other one is not with me, so I couldn't replace it. And like I was working on the upgrade, so I couldn't like stop and move all the video from that SD card into my computer. So. Yeah, apologies, I couldn't record throughout the upgrade, but it doesn't really matter. It's just me talking anyways. It's not like I was showing you my screen, but here's the gist of what happened, you know? Um, everything was fine, started out fine. I remember how, and maybe I didn't mention this, but one of the tasks during this downtime for the server, for the GitLab server, was to update its SSL cert. And I thought it was going to expire tomorrow, uh, so today. So I was gonna do it at the end of all the GitLab upgrade. <laughs> But like literally right after the first upgrade, um, the SSL cert expired and I could like my connection was uh, was not secure. And because of that, and I didn't know this at the time, but the runners for some reason, like if I try to do install the new version of the uh, the runner, it just wouldn't work. It, like the, the installation would be successful. When I went back to the GUI, it was like, I don't know what you're talking about. It's still at the old version. And I didn't know they were related, but um, so I had to figure out the SSL cert thingy. And that took a bit of a long time because I had done, so I had grabbed all the cert that I need, um, like the, the root, the intermediate, the actual server cert. It was already renewed by my colleague given to me, put them all together in one file, placed the old one with, with this one and ran a GitLab CTL uh, reconfigure, which like, we like pretty much is like a restart um, of the whole GitLab thing. And I thought that was it. I was like, it's not working. Why isn't it working? Blah, blah, blah. And then for some reason, it took me like 20, 30 minutes just to find the command um, that you need to run. Um, and it's very specific. It's like GitLab CTL, I think, HUP or HUP, um, Nginx update or restart or whatever it was. It's like very specific to GitLab. Um, and as soon as I did that, it, started working and then the GitLab runners were fine and I was like okay so that was like problem number one <laughs> and we were just getting started then I mean okay there weren't that many problems it just took a while I thought there was one massive background migration that was going to happen and that was going to take like an hour and 20 minutes and I knew that was going to happen but there were other background jobs that were running um, that took a bit longer than I anticipated so those I had to wait for them to finish I actually didn't know like whether I needed to f wait for the background job. There's like background jobs and then the background migration. I know for sure I can't like the, if I tried to upgrade without the back uh, background migrations finishing, the GitLab upgrade would have failed. The background jobs, I'm not sure, but I wasn't willing to risk it. So I waited for some of them to finish. So there was that. And then there was a uh, one time where uh, I was getting an error about uh, some of the projects within the GitLab using legacy storage 
uh, instead of hash storage. And at a certain point, I think at Gala 14, you can't, you can't use legacy storage. So I tried migrating those over. Some did successfully migrate over, but some didn't. I was trying to figure it out, it took like 20 minutes and then I gave up. What I found out pretty early on was that you can skip that check uh, and just move on with the upgrade. So after like 20, 30 minutes, I was like, all right. So I skipped that. All oh, right, all the runners. So we had several runners. So that's the other thing I like grossly miscalculated how long the runners would take. But yeah, anyway, so there's just like different things that like I had to nibble at. And before I knew it, it was late and I had to get it done. So, but eventually I did get to a lab version 14, eight something too. And then the runners, whatever was available at 14, I think it's like 14, seven something. Yeah, so <laughs> upgrade finished. It kind of feels weird to end it abruptly because there's no like end product that I'm showing you, but I, that's, I guess that's it for this video. Be, be sure to like, subscribe, and uh, until next time, peace.